Welcome back, Michael Dickerson, KC9PHK, here on behalf of the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club, presenting to you again the 2019 to 2023 General Class Question Pool, video number five in this series. The slides today will start out with G4C, covering interference to consumer electronics and grounding, as well as DSP. G4C01, which of the following might be useful in reducing RF interference to audio frequency devices? A. Bypass inductor. B. Bypass capacitor. C. Forward biased diode. Or D. Reverse biased diode. Correct answer B. Bypass capacitor. G4C02, which of the following could be a cause of interference covering a wide range of frequencies? A. Not using a ballon or line isolator to feed balanced antennas. B. Lack of rectification on the transmitter's signal in power conductors. C. Arcing at a poor electrical connection. Or D. Using a ballon to feed an unbalanced antenna. Answer is C. Arcing at a poor electrical connection. G4C03, what sound is heard from an audio device or telephone if there is interference from a nearby single sideband phone transmitter? A, a steady hum whenever the transmitter is on the air. B, on and off humming or clicking. C, distorted speech. Or D, clearly audible speech. The correct answer is C, distorted speech. G4C04, what is the effect on an audio device when there is interference from a nearby CW transmitter? A. On and off humming or clicking. B. A CW signal at nearly pure audio frequency. C. A chirpy CW signal. Or D. Severely distorted audio. Correct answer is A. On and off humming or clicking. G4C05, what might be the problem if you receive an RF burn when touching your equipment while transmitting on an HF band, assuming the equipment is connected to a ground rod? A. Flat braid rather than round wire has been used for the ground wire. B. Insulated wire has been used for the ground wire. C. The ground rod is resonant. Or D. The ground wire has high impedance on that frequency. Correct answer is D. The ground wire has high impedance on that frequency. G4C06, what effect can be caused by a resonant ground connection? A. Overheating of ground straps. B. Corrosion of the ground rod. C. High RF voltages on the enclosures of station equipment. D. A ground loop. Correct answer is C. High RF voltages on the enclosures of station equipment. G4C07, why should solder joints not be used with the wires that connect the base of the tower to a system of ground rods. A. The resistance of solder is too high. B. Solder flux will prevent a low conductive connection. C. Solder has too high a dielectric constant to provide adequate lightning protection. Or D. A solder joint will likely be destroyed by the heat of a lightning strike. Correct answer is D. A solder joint will likely be destroyed by the heat of a lightning strike. G4. C08, which of the following would reduce RF interference caused by common mode current on an audio cable? A. Placing a ferrite choke around the cable. B. Adding a series capacitors to the conductors. C. Adding shunt inductors to the conductors. Or D. Adding an additional insulating jacket to the cable. Correct answer is A. Placing a ferrite choke around the cable. G4C09, how can a ground loop be avoided? A. Connect all ground connectors in series. B. Connect the AC neutral conductor to the ground wire. C. Avoid using lock washers and star washers when making ground connections. Or D. Connect all ground connectors to a single point. Correct answer D. Connect all ground conductors to a single point. G4C10. What could be a symptom of a ground loop somewhere in your station? A. You receive reports of hum on your station's transmitted signal. B. The SWR reading for one or more antennas is suddenly very high. C. An item of station equipment starts to draw excessive amounts of current. Or D. You receive reports of harmonic interference from your station. Correct answer A. You receive reports of hum on your station's transmitted signal. G4C11. What technique helps to minimize RF hotspots in an amateur station? A. Building all equipment in a metal enclosure. B. Using surge suppressor power outlets. 
C. Bonding all equipment enclosures together. Or D. Low pass filters on all feed lines. Correct answer is C. Bonding all equipment enclosures together. G4 C12. Which of the following is an advantage of a receiver DSPIF filter as compared to an analog filter? A. A wide range of filter bandwidths and shapes can be created. B. Fewer digital components are required. C. Mixing products are greatly reduced. Or D. The DSP filter is much more effective at VHF frequencies. Correct answer is A. A wide range of filter bandwidths and shapes can be created. G4C13. Why must the metal enclosure of every item of station equipment be grounded? A. It prevents a blown fuse in the event of an internal short circuit. B. It prevents signal overload. C. It ensures that the neutral wire is grounded. Or D. It ensures that hazardous voltages cannot appear on the chassis. Correct answer. D. It ensures that hazardous voltages cannot appear on the chassis. G4D covers speech processors, S meters, sideband operation near the band edges. G4D01, what is the purpose of a speech processor as used in a modern transceiver? A, increase the intelligibility of transmitted phone signals during poor conditions. B, increase transmitter base response for more natural sounding SSB signals. C, prevent distortion of voice signals. Or D. Decrease high frequency voice output to prevent out of band operation. Correct answer here is A. To increase the intelligibility of transmitted phone signals during poor conditions. G4D02. Which of the following describes how a speech processor affects a transmitted single sideband phone signal? A. It increases peak power. B. It increases average power. C. It reduces harmonic distortion. Or D. It reduces intermodulation distortion. Correct answer, B. It increases average power. G4D03, which of the following can be the result of an incorrectly adjusted speech processor? A. Distorted speech. B. Splatter. C. Excessive background pickup. Or D. All of these choices are correct. Correct answer is D. All of these choices are correct. G4D04, what does an S meter measure? A. Conductance. B. Impedance. C. Receive signal strength. Or D. Transmitter power output. Answer is C. Received signal strength. G4D05. How does a signal that reads 20 dB over S9 compare to one that reads S9 on a receiver, assuming a properly calibrated S meter? A. It is 10 times less powerful. B. It is 20 times less powerful. C. It is 20 times more powerful. Or D. It is 100 times more powerful. Correct answer is D. It is 100 times more powerful. G4D06. Where is an S meter found? A. In a receiver. B. In an SWR bridge. C. In a transmitter. Or D. In a conductance bridge. Correct answer A. In the receiver. G4D07. How much must the power output of a transmitter be raised to change the S meter reading on a distant receiver from S8 to S9? A. Approximately 1.5 times. B. Approximately 2 times. C. Approximately 4 times. Or D. Approximately 8 times. Correct answer. C. Approximately 4 times. G4D08. What frequency range is occupied by a 3 kHz lower sideband signal when the displayed carrier frequency is set to 7.178 MHz? A. 7.178 to 7.181 MHz. B, 7.178 to 7.184 MHz. C, 7.175 to 7.178 MHz. Or D, 7.1765 to 7.1795 MHz. Correct answer here is C, 7.175 to 7.178 MHz. G4D09, what frequency range is occupied by a 3 kHz upper sideband signal with the displayed carrier frequency set to 14.347 MHz? A. 14.347 to 14.647 MHz. B. 14.347 to 14.350 MHz. C. 14.344 to 14.347 MHz. 
or D, 14.3455 to 14.3485 megahertz? Correct answer here is B, 14.347 to 14.350 megahertz. G4D10, how close to the lower edge of the phone segment should your displayed carrier frequency be when using 3 kHz wide lower sideband? A, at least 3 kHz above the edge of the segment. B, at least 3 kHz below the edge of the segment. C, at least 1 kHz below the edge of the segment. Or D, at least 1 kHz above the edge of the segment. Correct answer here is A, at least 3 kHz above the edge of the segment. G4D11, how close to the upper edge of the phone segment should your displayed carrier frequency be when using 3 kHz wide upper sideband? A, at least 3 kHz above the edge of the band. B, at least 3 kHz below the edge of the band. C, at least 1 kHz above the edge of the segment. Or D, at least 1 kHz below the edge of the segment. Correct answer here is B, at least 3 kHz below the edge of the band. G4E covers HF mobile radio installations and alternative energy source operation. G4E01 says, what is the purpose of a capacitance hat on a mobile antenna? A, to increase the power handling capacity of a WIP antenna. B, to allow automatic band changing. C, to electrically lengthen a physically short antenna. Or D, to allow remote tuning. Correct answer is C, to electrically lengthen a physically shorter antenna. G4E02, what is the purpose of a coronal ball on a HF mobile antenna? A, to narrow the operating bandwidth of the antenna. B, to increase the Q of the antenna. C, to reduce the chance of damage if the antenna should strike an object. Or D, to reduce RF voltage discharge from the tip of the antenna while transmitting. Answer is D, to reduce RF voltage discharge from the tip of the antenna while transmitting. G4E03, which of the following direct fused power connections would be the best for a 100 watt HF mobile installation? A, to the battery using heavy gauge wire. B, to the alternator or generator using heavy gauge wire. C, to the battery using resistor wire. Or D, to the alternator or generator using resistor wire. Best answer here is A, to the battery using heavy gauge wire. G4E04, why is it best not to draw the DC power for a 100 watt HF transceiver from a vehicle's auxiliary power socket? A, the socket is not wired with an RF shielded power cable. B, the socket's wiring may be inadequate for the current draw by the transceiver. C, the DC polarity of the socket is reversed from the polarity of the modern HF transceiver. Or D, drawing more than 50 watts from the socket could cause the engine to overheat. Answer here is B. The socket's wiring may be inadequate for the current drawn by the transceiver. G4E05. Which of the following most limits an HF mobile installation? A. Picket fencing. B. The wire gauge of the DC power line to the transceiver. C. Efficiency of the electrically short antenna. Or D. FCC rules limiting mobile output power on the 75 meter band. Answer here is C. Efficiency of the electrically short antenna. G4E06, what is one disadvantage of using a shortened mobile antenna as opposed to a full size antenna? A, short antennas are more likely to cause distortion of transmitted signals. B, short antennas can only receive circularly polarized signals. C, operating bandwidth may be very limited. Or D, harmonic radiation may increase. Answer is C, operating bandwidth may be very limited. G4E07, which of the following may cause receive interference in the radio installed in a vehicle? A, the battery charging system. B, the fuel delivery system. C, the vehicle control computer. Or D, all of these choices are correct. Correct answer is D, all of these choices are correct. G4E08, what is the name of the process by which sunlight is changed directly into electricity? A, photovoltaic conversion. B, photon emission. C. Photosynthesis or D. Photon decomposition. Correct answer is A. Photovoltaic conversion. G4E09. What is the approximate open circuit voltage from a fully illuminated silicon photovoltaic cell? A. 0.02 VDC. 
B, 0 0.5 VDC. C, 0 0.2 VDC. Or D, 1.38 VDC. Answer is B, 0 0.5 VDC. G4E10, what is the reason that a series diode is connected between a solar panel and a storage battery that is being charged by the panel? A, the diode serves to regulate the charging voltage to prevent overcharge. B, the diode prevents self-discharge of the battery through the panel during times of low or no illumination. C, the diode limits the current flowing from the panel to a safe value. Or D, the diode greatly increases the efficiency during times of high illumination. Answer is B. The diode prevents self-discharge of the battery through the panel during times of low or no illumination. G4E11. Which of the following is a disadvantage of using wind as a primary source of power for an emergency station? A. The conversion efficiency from mechanical energy to electrical energy is less than 2%. B, the voltage and current ratings of such systems are not compatible with amateur equipment. C, a large energy storage system is needed to supply power when the wind is not blowing. Or D, all of these choices are correct. Answer is C, a large energy storage system is needed to supply power when the wind is not blowing. And that will conclude video number five of this series. Again, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and do that so you'll be notified as we release new videos. Thank you for joining us again.